Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do some swatching of some products that I have I picked up via some haulage. And I've got out my little wheel that, um, is, this, this thing's crazy. I've had them for years and years and years, and, um, I only have gotten the clear ones, but uh, I have some friends that have gotten clear ones and some of the like neutral colored ones, and they're not popping off like this. So y'all can see, I just kind of push down with my thumb, and it comes off. I mean, <laughs> I didn't put latex on it or anything. Now see, that one didn't come off real nice and clear, but it does just come all the way off. And if you have trouble with it, sometimes you can also... You know, use a little piece of tape like I'm using on my finger to get these off. These are the little reusable nail wheels that I get from 88 Beauty. And so I, I don't, I'm going to have to order some of the clear ones so I can play with them. I mean, the clear ones. The colored ones and see if I can play with them. Um, my friend Nora had bought, bought them and um, she did find that the acetone did not affect those. So even though they, she hasn't been able to get them to pop off like this, you know, she's still able to reuse them and using the um, nail polish remover. So I'm going to get this all ready and I will do some swatching and show you guys what I have recently picked up. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm going to run through real quick what I have picked up. I got two polishes from Dollish Polish Nail Lacquer and this first one let you get a peek of it real quick. It's called We've All Got Light and Dark Inside Us. And this is a Harry Potter reference. But even if you're not into Harry Potter, that's still a beautiful polish. And then the next one is this beautiful dark green. And I'm in love with this one. I, I have no words for it. And this one is called After All This Time, Always which is also another Harry Potter reference, and I will be swatching these here in just a moment. But I'm going to combine that little haul with another little haul I did. I picked up some polishes from Brave Steva. You all know I love Brave Steva. Love, love her polishes. Tara does a fantastic job. This one is called Bullpen. And I will leave a link for Dotlish Polish and Brave Steva down below. And here is another Brave Steva Beauty. Look at that. Looks like fire in a bottle. Or lava. Oh, it's just, I can't wait. And then I got her one coat black called Game Over. And then this beautiful topper called Cleat Chaser. So I'm going to get the caps off of everything, and I'm going to swatch them real quick for you. I'll be right back. A swatching we will go. We are going to start with We've All Got Light and Dark in Us by Dollish Polish. It appears to be like a black jelly with lots of shimmery, shiny goodness in it. And that is the first coat. We will definitely be doing another one. And then the next one is After All This Time, Always. It's just such a deep color. I'm just really excited about it. I can't wait to see it when it's all the way fully opaque on this nail. And my camera's probably not going to do it justice. Next we've got Bullpen from Brave Steva. I know you guys can't see what I'm seeing, but you will, hopefully, after I build it up. <laughs> and then we're going to do the lava-looking one called Batting Practice. Very sheer, but very beautiful. I love all that shimmer in it. Very nice. And then we're going to do a coat of Game Over. Oh, heavens to Marcus Torrance, it is a one-coater, just like she said. 
I know it's been a minute since I did the Heavens to Mercury. Okay, now I'm going to let this one game over dry, and then I'm going to put the topper, the one called Cleat Chaser, I'm going to put that over the black, and we may experiment over some other stuff too. But I'm going to go back and do another coat of, we've all got light and dark in us. Yeah, I might even need another coat. Or, you know, like, you guys know how I like to save on my special indies. I would probably layer this over black just to make it last longer. Funny how we do stuff like that. Get this up here and see if y'all can start seeing. Some of that just I mean you can see the the hollow and the sparkle but there's like something down in that jelly base besides that that hopefully at the end you will get to see it next we've got after all this time always Maybe a two coater, depending on your application and you know all of it. I think I'm gonna leave it at two coats. This one's just crazy pretty. I'm so afraid y'all are not gonna be able to see what I've, I'm seeing. It's oh, I love it. It's got like a glass sheen to it or something. It's insane pretty. And next we're gonna do another coat of bullpen. Definitely going to need another coat of that. It's almost there, but we're not quite. We're going to go to batting practice. And I know it's much better when I do them on my natural nails, but you know, we've got a lot of stuff to show you guys, like real quick. Okay, now that that black has had a moment to dry, I'm hoping it's dry enough and that I'm not rushing it. That is game over. We're going to go over it with this topper, Cleat Chaser. Oh, pretty. Oh, yep, I love me some of that. That is gorgeous. Okay, now I have another swatch wheel here with just some other colors on it. <laughs> yeah. This must have been some kind of comparison because everything's looking similar. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this over a couple of these colors so you can see how it would look over some other stuff. Oh, that's just Barbie doll in a bottle, man. Ooh, so pretty. I'm gonna go over this gray. I knew it was going to look good over the gray. I don't know why, but I did. Oh, how pretty. All right, and let's do, let's go ahead and do this green, like this darker one. Oh, yeah. This is just going to look good over a lot of stuff. <laughs> It's just going to look so pretty on so many things. I'm trying to do it up and get in different angles so you can see. And then we're going to do it over one of these purples. Let's go with this darker one. Oh, yummy delicious. Alright, that's just so, so gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to put that to the side and go back to doing what we were doing. Um, I believe that we're going to go ahead and definitely do another coat on this one. And this one was, we've all got light and dark inside us. And I can tell you for sure I'll be layering this over something. Because, uh, I don't want to have to do too many coats. I mean, this is coat three. And 
that's really kind of this girl's limit. I have been known to go over the limit, but <laughs> that is so pretty though, and I am going to do it over black for sure. And then the next is After All This Time, Always, by Dollish Polish. You know what? That one doesn't need a second one. I'm just not going to do it. There's no... I don't, I don't think it's going to change it at all. So we're going to move on to Brave Steva Bullpen. The thing I like about this one is it is taking some coats, but it's thin. So even if you had to do more, you know, it would definitely not feel thick and fat on the nail and they're drying very fast that's another point when I'm playing but I might would layer this one too I, I don't have a problem with layering stuff you know do, do a coat of something and also it gives you so many possibilities because you never know what that color is going to look like and we're going to go back in with another coat here I love colors like this. It's got all that shimmer, crazy, crazy shimmer, shimmer. and that's batting practice that we're playing with right here. And you could totally get away with two coats on batting practice, I think. Or three coats, I'm sorry, third coat. If you layered it over something, you could do one coat and, you know, hang on to your specialness. Okay, we're going to do one more coat of Cleat Chaser over this black down here. So I just want to see if it just makes it too crazy. Any more crazy. Pretty. There we go. Oh, that is just fantastic. Oh, look at how the blue, purple, pink, it's just, it is, um, really oh, I hope y'all can see that that is so pretty so that is my haul and this was a haul because I paid for these um, alrighty my battery cut me off kind of typical you know um, but that is it that is all I have for today my two little dollish polishes and my four new Brave Steva that I have purchased I hope you enjoyed these swatches let me know what your favorite was bit and if you've ordered any of these or if you've tried these brands I would love to hear your thoughts on them so leave me a comment down below and that is it so until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon